Okay, so I'm getting ready for my big test. So I have all but 100 pixels out right now. So I have 300 this way, then I have my power injection key, 300 that way, then I'll have a new port. I'll go 300 this way. I'll connect my power injection key, and then I have 300 going this way. third port coming up, so I'm going to do 600 on each port. And the fourth port of 600. Nice and slow. So now I'm going to hook it up. Now for this, I'm not so much worried that my power injection scheme is, is going to work. This is more to test the pixels themselves and make sure that the pixels are good. So in the box here, I have a power supply connected to a Falcon distribution board, which is all of it sounds like. There's nothing fancy to it at all. It connects to the power supply, and then it connects, it just splits that out to multiple ports that uh, are fused. So it's pretty much all it does is it puts a fuse in line for each one of these going out. four connections to these, these T's, and that's where the power will come from. I, I don't put power in from the beginning. You could if you wanted to. You don't want to. These are five foot cables, which are super handy for these jobs. and easy. Be port two. two. These three. Okay. This is port four. You know what? I am going to up that last hundred pixels too. See? So here's the other hundred. Yeah, you can see. Now notice on the ends, each one I put PZ24. That's so I know this batch came from Paul Zhang. 2024. That way if I have any problems, I can see if it's all happening to the same batch or not, or if it's something happening to all the batches, but it helps troubleshoot. Alright, I'm going to put power into the back end here. There. So this is going to be port 5 sitting on top. Next, got a quick modification I need to do to the 
Well, all righty. So these two ports are done. We need to do the next three. Okay, so this one came out of four. Where's that? Should be. What's this one do? Okay, this is port four. This one is port three. And then the other one is the harder to get through. We'll do that after. So all I'm doing here is I'm pulling the, the positive pin on these Phoenix connectors. Okay, so that See, so there's the red. Go into this one. Port three. And I'm doing this because I don't do power injection from the box. Now I still run ground because I like having that uh, that reference, and that's more for the data. So when it's comparing, signal has a common reference ground. Okay. Dab a little liquid tape there because it smells so wonderful. I highly recommend it. Okay, so now we go and put them back without getting ourselves all messy. Okay, so this is three. Pop three back in. Whoops, a little mess. This is four. Four goes in right there. Okay, now I need port five. This guy right here. Okay, loosen up the red wire. Now, normally I build my controllers without hooking up the red wire, but this is a um, pre assembled one i bought this when supplies were i needed to buy some when supplies were really short the other year and this was the first one that came available so i got one that's handy it was interesting to see how the pre-built compared to the ones you assemble yourself okay and we pop port five back in All right, that's good to go. See that handy dandy Milwaukee headlight? Just clip it onto my hat. See what I'm doing hands free. Plug in the control. we boot up here okay now I'm not quite done yet I gotta configure the ports all right just popping into the controller real quick I go to output settings pixel and each one of these has 600 pixels well not quite the last one has a hundred, but we're gonna say 600 anyway. And then we're gonna change these all to 30% because we don't want to bust any fuses. Okay, I think we look good. All right, go to test, RGB, enable. Voila, it's working.
external lighting. I think we got it covered. All right, so now we are testing the pixels. So let's see, how many we got here? 600, so we have one, two, four, four times six, 2,400, plus two more, 2,500 pixels, all being tested at the same time. Except these guys are coming on. There we go. There we go. I had to just change the start port to one on this. All right, so we're looking at red, green, blue. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for anything different. Now, let me change the pattern. Right now I have it on RGB. I'm gonna do RGB white. Okay. I'm not worried about white and flicker. What I'm worried about is color, right? I'm looking for bad pixels. So anything a burned out pixel is it going to be dark, which actually is very rare, or it's going to be a different color, which is the most common thing, or it's busted and data won't pass through. So those are pretty easy patterns. So anything that's a color difference, something we're looking for. cycle this a little faster so I can go through. I'm going to turn up the speed. That is, uh, that is pretty cool. They're all working, every single strand. Now these are the 50 count strands I will still, I'll need to do another round of testing for all of my specials. So these lights we let, uh, oops. these lights we let run for a few hours. They look fine. So we are going to put them away. Right here, 2,500 pixels tested and working. All right, so we're doing about 300 on the run. That's 50. That's 100. No, no, no. That's 125. That's 125. That's 250. This is a hundred. This is a hundred. Just to make it easy, do that on our own. And we'll do all these. All the extras. One here, two, and oh, come on. Six, five, three, and you one. Two. Put 
And these I'm hooking up. This is my Falcon F16 V4. It is providing data and has ground connected, but it is not providing the power. Power is coming from the gray box, which has power supply. So here I'm connect, making the data connections. I could do this on a lot less connections, but kind of like having the different types of pixels on our own thing. Now we've got all the power ejection points. overkill, but it's easy. I'll we'll just pop it to the end. Okay. Plug in the power. Plug in the controller. And just toggle the buttons for test. Alternate. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue, white. All right. So I got it. So far, I got a perfect batch. Nothing, uh, nothing is bad at all. So the original twenty five hundred are good. The you know, the specials, I guess we'll call them, they're all looking good. So we'll just let these run for, you know, I got some other stuff to do in the background. I'll just let these run and uh, see if there's any failures.